everyone, welcome to my channel and in this video I will teach you how to crochet a lovely bucket bag with t-shirt yarn. For that I will need around 170 meters of 79 mm t-shirt yarn, a 7 mm hook, a strap, two ring carabiners, a drawstring, Four stitch markers, a needle with a big eye, and scissors. We're gonna make three steps to crochet this bag. First step is to crochet an oval bottom. Second step is to crochet the walls for the bag. We will crochet it with the cross stitches. And the third one is to add all the fittings. So let's move on to the first step. Since the bottom of the bag is just an ordinary oval, you can crochet it following my detailed tutorial about how to crochet an oval. You can find the link here or in the description to this video. The size of the oval depends on two things. How many chain stitches you make in the beginning chain and how many rows you crochet in your oval. In the video about the oval, we made 14 chain stitches in the beginning, but to crochet the bottom for this bag, we need to make only 10 chain stitches. And after that, we crochet the oval the same way as I showed in the tutorial about the oval. For the back bottom, we need to crochet 7 rows in our oval. How to start crocheting, how to crochet chain stitches and all necessary steps, everything is shown and explained in the oval tutorial. I will also leave here a scheme of the ready oval bottom for the future bag, so you could check if you've done everything right. So again, start with making 10 chain stitches. And now crochet 7 rows of the oval, following my tutorial about how to crochet an oval. After we finish the oval bottom, you should do the wet heat treatment to make its shape completely flat. There is a video about how I do that. And now it's time to move on to the second step, crocheting the walls of the bag. The walls of the bag we will crochet using a cross stitch. First hold your oval wrong side up. You can choose any place on the oval bottom to start the walls. 
approaching the first row of the walls, we will insert the hook under the back loops of these V-stitches. and under these bumps. Like this. Hook the yard and take a loop. Hook the yarn and push it through the loop on the hook. Crocheting the first row of the walls, we insert the hook like I just showed you, and then we make all the same steps as we made for the stitches in the oval. So insert the hook, Hook the working yarn and take a loop. Hook the working yarn and push it through both loops on the hook. So in the first row we get just normal V stitches. And from the second row we will start crocheting the cross stitches. Repeat V stitches until the end of the row. We have finished the first row of the walls. We will crochet the walls in a spiral, so that means we will not make any joinings. We just start crocheting the second row right away. But like I said, from the second row we start crocheting cross stitches. So for that we insert the hook under this V-stitch as if we were going to make just a normal single crochet and then it will be a bit different than a single crochet. We 
of the working yarn, but from above, like this. When we make just a normal single crochet, we hook the working yarn from below. But now, to make a cross stitch, we need to hook the working yarn from above. Take a loop. Hook the working yarn from above again. And push it through both loops on the hook. So we've got the first cross stitch and it's the first stitch of the second row. Put a stitch marker on it so we wouldn't lose that place where we started the row. And continue crocheting the cross stitches to the end of the row. Insert the hook under the next stitch, hook the working yarn from above, take a loop, hook the working yarn from above again and push it through both loops on the hook. So we have finished the second row. And again, we don't join it, just start crocheting the third row with the cross stitches and don't forget to put a stitch marker on the first stitch. We need to crochet 20 rows in the walls of our bag. We already have 2 rows finished, so 18 rows left. After you finish the last row of the walls of the bag, I will show you the final stitches. I have finished the last row of the walls. Now I have 20 rows here. Since we crocheted it in a spiral, now we need to get rid of the difference in height at the end of the last row. First, I want to continue crocheting cross stitches until I come to the middle of the short side of the bag, here.
and we make the last cross stitch as small as possible. For that we need to make the loops on the hook as small as possible. Leave a little tip and cut the yarn. Pull out the tip. And to complete the walls, we push the tip under the second V-stitch from that place where we are now. So this is the first one and the second one. And now bring the tip back into the same stitch where it comes from. Push the tip making this stitch the same size as all other V-stitches here. Hide the rest of the tip under the stitches from inside the back. I will use a needle with a big eye for that. Just push it under the stitches in different directions. You can do it the way you want. And then cut the rest of the tip. Our back is almost ready. Now I advise you to do the wet heat treatment for the walls of the back too. And we move on to the third step, adding all the fittings. Bend the sides of your back as much as you want, you can make any shape you like.
and then we pull our drawstring through the walls of the bag. I start from the middle of the back side of the bag. So here will be the middle of the drawstring and I do it right after the third draw from the top. Then we are moving to the sides of the back. As you can see, on each side of the walls I choose 4 stitches in the middle as a distance for pulling the drawstring through the walls so it would look the same everywhere. And then to the front side. Next, put ring carbiners on the sides of the bag. And a strap. Our bag is ready! I hope everything was clear for you. 
but if you have any questions, you can ask me in comments and I will try to help you. Please don't forget to leave your thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you still haven't done that. You can also click on the bell if you want to be the first to know about my new video tutorials. That's all for now. Thank you for watching. See you!